Alright, welcome to the Debian Stable Part 2. Now that I have installed Debian Squeeze in VirtualBox, now I'm going to review it. And that review begins right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Debian Squeeze is the operating system to have if you're looking for pure stability and you don't care about having the latest and greatest applications. On the lower right corner of the screen, you will see that you have four desktops with which to choose from. On the lower left, you have an icon which will allow you to show the desktop and minimize all windows. On the upper right is a power, uh, uh, the laptop battery indicator. You get a, a wired network connection. You also get the window selector, volume control, date and time. Moving towards the left here, you also get evolution for your email and you get the Epiphany web browser. Next, you have a regular system menu that gives you a link to all of your preferences, administration tools, help, tells you to about GNOME, lock screen, log out, and shutdown. The Places menu will help you navigate your system. Home folder, desktop documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads, computer, anything on, that you're connected to on the network and the like. Next, in the Applications menu, under Accessories, you get Archive Manager, Calculator, Character Map, Get It, Text Editor, A Root Terminal, Search for Files, Take a Screenshot, Terminal, Time Tracker, and Tomboy Notes. In Games, you get Isle Row Solo, Solitaire Chess, five or more, four in a row, Free Cell Solitaire, Lagno, Klotsky, Mahjong, Mines, Nibbles, Quadrupacel, Robots, Sudoku, Tale, and Tetravax. In graphics, you get the GIMP, Inkscape, Open Office, Org, Draw, Shotwell Photo Manager, Simple Scan, and Xsane Image Scanning Program in Internet. You get Akiga Soft Phone, Epiphany IM Client, Epiphany Web Browser, Evolution Mail Ice Weasel Web Browser, Life Ray Feed Reader, Ramina Remote Desktop Client, and of course Transmission. I think every Linux distro out there comes with Transmission by default, hey? Eh? Okay, and then in Office, you get OpenOffice.org and Evolution Email and a Dictionary. In Sound and Video, you get Audio CD Extractor, Brazero Disc Burner, Cheese Webcam Booth, Movie Player, Rhythm Box Music Player, Sound Recorder. In System Tools, you get Configuration Editor, Disk Usage Analyzer, Disk Utility File, Browser Log File, Viewer Network Tools, New Login, New Login in a Window, Report Bug, and System Monitor. And then, of course, in Universal Access, you get Dasher, on-screen keyboard and Orca screen reader and magnifier. All right, now, is Debian for beginners? I actually recommend that you spend a little bit of time with Ubuntu and get used to uh, using that before going and diving into Debian. There are a lot of things that we can do with this. We could actually turn this into Wheezy, which is testing, or SID, which is unstable. There are a number of packages in the repositories that can be used to uh, install in this system. So if you have any ideas of things you would like to see done in Debian, put it right down here and uh, I will uh, research and see about putting those uh, in a tutorial for you. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Also, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter me, and I'll keep you up to date every time I'm putting a new video up in this series or on my channel in general. Thank you all for watching. Welcome to all of my new subscribers. We'll see you next time.